So they did, in a 12,000-word report called What Went Wrong. Columbia calls the Rolling Stone article a journalistic failure that was avoidable and says the damage goes well beyond journalism. The Rolling Stone article, A Rape on Campus, was based on the account of a junior at the University of Virginia known only as Jackie, who alleged she was brutally gang-raped by seven men at a fraternity party. But the story fell apart after publication. The investigation by Columbia University's Journalism School found Jackie to be a challenging source, who the magazine relied on too heavily. The report faults veteran reporter Sabrina Rubin Erderly, who has crime reporting experience, for not contacting the men Jackie had accused or corroborating basic facts of her story. The report is critical of Rolling Stone's editors and says the magazine's failure may have spread the idea that many women invent rape allegations. Rolling Stone's managing editor issued a written apology Sunday night and officially retracted the story. Jackie's friends Alex Stock and Ryan Duffin were quoted in the Rolling Stone article, but say they were never interviewed by the writer. They say they were with Jackie the night of the alleged attack, but remember something different. I didn't notice any sort of physical injuries. I didn't notice a lack of shoes. I didn't really notice anything. Charlottesville police say they found no evidence of a gang rape at the fraternity house and say there's no evidence the fraternity even had a party the night of the alleged attack. We have no basis to conclude that anything happened to that fraternity house. University of Virginia's president said in a statement Sunday night the Rolling Stone article damaged the school's reputation, adding it did nothing to combat sexual violence and it damaged serious efforts to address the issue. The writer of the Rolling Stone article, Sabrina Rubin Erdely, is apologizing tonight and said in a statement, quote, I allowed my concern for Jackie's well-being, my fear of re-traumatizing her, and my confidence in her credibility to take the place of more questioning and more facts. Despite tonight's report, Rolling Stone's publisher says he will not fire Erdely or the magazine's editor.